hello people welcome to this tutorial and in this tutorial i'm going to be showing you how you can back up your wordpress website and also how you can restore your wordpress website no matter the file size of your backup file even if it's a hundred gig so let's get into it all right so First thing first, you want to get to the back end of your website. Right here, I'm at the back end of my website. And what you want to do is you want to head over to plugins right here. And I'm going to click on plugins. And having done that, you want to click on hard plugin right here. And just before we proceed, for reference purpose, this is what my website looks like. So this is my personal website and I want to back it up because I want to restore it on another domain or I want to have just a backup in case of um, anything. All right, so now we are under the plugin section and now you want to head over here at the search bar and we are going to search for a plugin named all in one all in one i think that's wp and okay right here so here is the plugin we are going to be using for this backup so you want to click on install And when it is installed, you want to click on activate. All right, so now that we have activated this plugin, you want to go to the menu item here, and here's the plugin. You can see it all in one WP migration. So now you want to go to backups right here. So I'm going to click on backups. And here you want to click on create backup. So this basically is going to create a backup of the current state of your website and give you a file. So we're going to hold on and wait for that to be completed. All right, so now we have successfully created a backup file for my website and now you can go ahead and click on download to download the file for your backup so this is going to be 632 megabytes and i'm going to click on download and that is basically going to get this file downloaded for you all right so that's basically how you back up your wordpress website and now let's see how you can restore it on another website right or on another domain address as the case may be so let's do that all right so now i am on the website where i want to restore the backup i've just created now this is a different website and this is what this website currently looks like so i want to import my personal website to this domain i have right here now to restore it we are going to head over to plugin and now we are also going to be using the all-in-one wp backup plugin but in this case we are going to be uploading um the plugin manually because we are doing this because um in some cases your backup file might be very large and if you don't have the premium subscription for the official all-in-one backup plugin you might not be able to do that but with the help of this zip file, this external um, all-in-one file that I will provide in the comment section. So you feel free to check the comment section for this file. With the help of this plugin, you can basically just um, import any website file of any size up to 100 gigs. So no matter the size of your website backup, you can basically upload any size with this zip file all right so i just hope i'm clear enough and to do that you want to click on add plugin and because we're not going to be searching for it here we want to upload it manually you're going to click on upload plugin and i'm going to select choose file 
and I'm going to find and locate this um, all in one plugin. It's still the same plugin, but this was created specifically so it can handle larger backup files. All right, so this is recommended if you have a large website to restore. All right, so I'm going to click on it and I'm going to select open. And you want to click on install now. So this will basically install this plugin for you. And you want to click on activate plugin. Again, this plugin will be provided in the description of this video. So check it out. All right. So now we have successfully installed the all in one WP migration and it's the 100 gig version, which means you can basically restore any website file of up to 100 gig all right so now we want to restore the website we have just downloaded right so to do that you want to head over to the all-in-one wp migration plugin right here and you want to go to import in this case all right so we're going to select import and now we are here and just before we move ahead there's something very important you should take note of the website you are about to import make sure you know the wordpress um username and also the password because once it gets imported into this um, new domain you will need to provide the password and the username for your previous website that's the website you are importing currently so it's important to um, have those details in hand all right, so now that we are here, we are going to click on import from and you want to select file because we downloaded it. So I'm going to find this file and here it is right here. I think that should be one of these if I'm not mistaken. And all right, let's go with this. This is the first one. So I'm going to click on open and this will start the process of importing the backup into your website so you're just going to wait a few uh, i'm not going to lie it's going to take a while for this to be imported into your website so you are just going to be patient grab um uh, popcorn or whatever you want to grab and chill till the installation is completed till the importation is completed as the case may be you can see how slow it could be and sometimes it runs very fast all right, so I'm going to speed this up and we'll be back when the installation is done. All right, so right now the importation is completed and it says the import process will overwrite your website, yada, yada, yada. So this means basically what I have previously on this website will be gone and the new website the new backup i have will show up so i'm going to click on proceed right so now it says your data has been imported successfully and um, you must blah 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 and say subscribe to wordpress okay so i actually got this file from the wordpress doctor um youtube channel you can also do well to check up his channel he's a great guy and yeah he gave us the solution all right so now this has been imported and now let's check in the front end what our website looks like so i'm going to reload it and hopefully it's going to bring up um my personal website in the front end so guys you can see we have this domain now having um the backup that i have just imported right here so you can see right here is the website i have just packed up and now i am able to transfer it to this domain and like i said you have to remember the password the login details for your website the website you have backed up and the one you have restored right because to access the back end i'm just going to reload this and you would see that they would ask for your login details because of the update that has been done all right so i'm going to go to the back end by 
going to wp slash admin and right here you can see that now they are asking for the login details so you need to have this login details to be able to log in so i'm going to click on this and i'm going to log in now i have put in the password and yeah so guys um you can see i've been able to log into the back end of this website because i have used the password for the backup and you can see all the plugins everything that you have in the previous websites will also be imported into this website so that's basically it that is how to back up your website and restore it on a new domain no matter the size of the website file size i hope this video has been helpful if it is please subscribe to this channel give this video a like and you can do well by sharing it to others who might find this video useful thank you for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one peace